For the first time, we are hearing from the parents of an eight-year-old who drowned at the Boynton Inlet last week. WPTV's Joel Lopez talked with the boy's family about what happens and the memories they say will live on forever. Family said that Saul Jr. was a passionate fisherman and was out here with his father when he fell into the water and drowned, leaving the family mourning, spending Father's Day in tears. At the home of parents Saul Serrato and Roxanne Batista, who preferred not to have her face shown. His dad will sit there and he will sit there. The table where their family of eight has shared countless memories together. He was the sweetest boy there will ever be now has one seat that will be left empty. He was the life of the house, like the house feels dead without him. Their eight-year-old son, Saul Jr., who loved to paint and fish, fell into the Boynton Inlet on Thursday. His dad, Saul, who doesn't speak English well, tells me he started to scream for his son, asking, where are you? Sadly, his son drowned while fishing together. He said when he realized he was gone, he ran to the top of the bridge and looked to see if he could see him in the water. A haunting memory for a father whose son wanted to grow up to be just like him. How was Father's Day for you yesterday? No, no Father's Day for me. No more. Come on, come on. Not a good father for you. All the family has now is his son's fishing rod. This is all you were able to get that day? This stuff. And traces of color from his paint. How are the rest of your kids right now? They, they feel it. As they're left to heal alongside an empty seat at the table. Joel Lopez, WPTV News Channel 5. The family tells us they are working to set up a memorial to honor their son. The family's created a GoFundMe account. We have a link to that on our website, WPTV.com.